hell, you guys? Why do you have to go to the Alps when you can just come to a place like this? Check it out. Good morning, by the way. Good morning, Vietnam! Rest in peace, Robin Williams. Check it out. The morning scenery from the beautiful Pyrenees Mountains. Woo! I like it. We could just keep snaking up this mountain pass and get lost. Eventually, we'd get really close to France, but I think that's a dead end. So we're not gonna risk it today because we have to get back to the coast. But I do wanna check this out while we're here. This is magical. Military. Wow. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah. Woo! We have a cave here. Carrie has the heebie jeebies and you know, we don't want it to end badly like Thailand. So I think we're gonna skip that part. But yeah, you guys, check out the rental car. We got the Clio, uh, six speed. I've been having a great time. The company we got from Bilbao was called Rent by Car. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but I should be. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a great little car. Uh, it takes about 50 euros to fill up the gas tank. So not that cheap actually great for navigating these roads. Man, having a car is just a game changer here. I highly suggest renting cars when you come to this part of Spain, of course, but try to avoid the big corporations, budget car, Avis. Here's another interesting thing we see here. This is an old bridge. As you can see, obviously broken, and the other side of the bridge would have been right there, right next to that white little building. Of course, this is the new bridge in the good old Pyrenees Mountains. Red Natural Aragon. I just love saying Aragon, where King Ferdinand came from, the one who married Isabel of Castile and formed the country of Spain. It's Netherlands? All right, we got a Netherlands. Hello from Netherlands. Wow, some, some real Dutch explorers there. Doesn't surprise me, these Northern Europeans, these Germans, these Dutch, these Scandinavians, they're freaking crazy about hiking and adventures. I don't feel like taking my shoes off, so. We're just gonna walk along the edge here. Worst case scenario, I got flip-flops, but nobody wants smelly shoes in the car or the plane. Woo! And we made it, we made it. I didn't get wet, all right. Speaking of other European nationalities who love adventures, the Spanish people love adventuring, as you can see. Czechs are crazy, man. I've, I've never seen crazy people than the Czechs <laughs> when it comes to outdoor adventures, camping. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿De dónde sois? Valencia. Valencianos, wow. Sí. ¿Os gusta la naturaleza de los Pirineos? Mucho. Muy bien. <laughs> Un buen paseíto, ¿no? Sí, Hasta luego. Bien. Valencians, they like the adventuring. Bulgarians, Eastern Europeans, Polish, the Baltics, they all like adventuring outdoors. There's one country that's kind of like the United States, the Brits. The Brits are like us Americans, lazy, Want to sit down, go to all-inclusive resorts, drink beer all day, eat food. Not all of them, of course, but we're speaking some truth here. The Americans, they like going to Mexico, getting wasted, not leaving their hotel. And the Brits like going to Southern Spain, Benidorm, Malaga, <laughs> and doing the same. ¿Qué tal? El Pozo, La Poza. Uh, speaking, uh, yes, where are you guys from? Uh, England. No way, I'm yeah. happy. <laughs> Give, giving England a good look here. Because <laughs> everybody else goes to Betty Dorm, you know, and sips oh, on beers. No, 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 we haven't met no. like any other English people. No, we're in a motel, we've gone all around northern Spain, all right. Portugal. Isn't it great? Yeah, yeah, brilliant. it's great. Yeah. Spain is astounding. Yeah. In one country, you got several mountain ranges, oh, yeah. thousands of miles of beaches. Yeah, yeah. it's a beer, yeah. And, uh, it's all very different, isn't it? It's just yeah, areas, very, very diverse. You know, you drive an hour south, you're in Plateau dry land yeah. that's it yeah in desert we haven't yeah. been there but we have yeah, some desert isn't there right right yeah. Yeah. down in malaga where i live it's it's dry it's no green just some green shrub so shout you. out to england yeah, Thank you. <laughs> all right speak of the devil <laughs> i found some nice brits some real adventurers nice chaps <laughs> so as you can see we've got adventurers from all different countries <laughs> We seem to have found some sort of abandoned lot here. We can see a foundation of a house that once was. Here's the wall. We're looking for some sort of well next to the river. Wow, there's some nice rapids here though, wow. All right, you guys, we found a little stream here to navigate down to the river to find this little swimming hole. 
All right, very slippery. Good thing it's not raining. Oh Ooh. shit. Right here. Step, there you go, there you go. Muy bien. That's it. All right, good job. Point of view hiking right here. Woo, my favorite. All right. Ooh. If this was raining, oh my God. It would, sweep, it would sweep us right into right into the river here. I feel like uh, Tarzan. <laughs> At this point, we were supposed to be in uh, San Sebastian, but <laughs> this is it, you guys. This is the swimming hole. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Wow. You don't want to get swept into there because you'll get taken down. But right here is a little swimming hole. Glacial water. Careful, baby, careful. That's it, that's it. Oh. So Carrie's very happy. She found her uh, swimming hole. Ooh, it's cold. All right. There's one problem. I don't have my swimsuit. It's not bien fría, dice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo -hoo -hoo. Lo has hecho bien. Amor, puedes hacer natación. <laughs> <laughs> it's fuerte, no? Sí. Mírame. Mírame. I'm gonna give it a go. And I gotta give you guys a swimming experience. My legs are stinging, it's so cold. Yeah, it does feel pretty good though. I like that stinging feeling. It reminds me of ice baths. We're gonna cross this. All right. Ugh. I gotta do an adventure Elliot dips before I get out. There we go. Oh, there we go. I feel like Harold Balder and Gabriel Traveler at the same time. I can do a dip here. I can't put my camera underwater because there's a crack in the screen. I'm not risking it because if I break it, no more videos. Although they do say you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. Yes. Oh, yeah. One more for good measure. Oh. All right. Oh, my balls are shriveling up. Oh. Mis cojones. Mis cojones están pequeños. Woo. Oh. Woo. Okay guys, I think we're going to leave. Okay. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Miguel. Miguel? Andrea. Andrea. You too. All right, take care you guys. Bye. Un saludo a los Asturianos. <laughs> Very nice people from Northern Spain, Asturias. Which by the way, I've got videos there. Incredible nature there as well. <laughs> it's just like the mountains, just bring another element to the videos. The mountains, the rivers complete different vibe than the beach scene. I really like it a lot, you guys. Oh. Carrie, did you have fun? Yes. <laughs> what fun. did you like? I feel very fresh now. I don't know, my 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 skin is very grateful for yeah. power. Yeah. yeah, it's like we took a bath. This part is so fascinating because Little by little, they constructed small roads that would connect Spain to France through this massive valley. And of course, they had to make some bridges like this. Here we have a bridge that is totally, well, broken. Here's one side, and the other side is right there. It's also a route, historically speak, for contraband. Smuggling things from Spain to France. During the Civil War in Spain, many refugees fled. Republicans, or left-wingers that is, they fled through here fleeing to France. And during World War II, people from the north of Europe fled south down this way to escape the tragedies of World War II in this very land here in the Pyrenees Mountains. One last look. What a day, what a day. Now we gotta head back down to the coast. The beautiful blue waters of the Bay of Biscay waits for us in Basque country. Let's go.